knight f3. How about one g6? And we're going to go for this line. We don't get in d4 now, so I feel like white has already outplayed himself. So this is a passive defensive structure. And is that what you sign up to do when you play white? Probably not. H6, F5. Looks easy. Takes. Throw that in there so when I take, it'll give me development. I don't like giving him the C file, but I liked it even less B5, B6, ruining the structure. Watch out for that. We do that first to make sure f4, he can't play h3 and bishop g4. We need the bishop to be able to attack. Opening things up for me. How very kind. Now the bishop comes alive. If he takes knight g6, looking better and better the attacking prospects here that's why you're not supposed to play on the side of the board that your opponent is attacking on this is how bad things happen queen h4 g3 h3 bishop h3 g h3 queen h3 knight f3 figured I want to keep it if I can. So there were so many lines where he takes, and it's like queen check at the right moment, so my queen can't come over here to attack on g5 or h4. But with knight here, that changes things. Tax running out of steam, sadly.
time is more important than anything right now. The attack did not work. So I have an awkward pawn structure to try to defend. I'm worried about the C file. So that seems more important to take care of at this juncture. Rook C1, C6. And that was my idea. Couldn't take with a B anyway for multiple reasons. That's bad. F3. We have to go with something. He didn't think about that idea, I don't think. Resilience. That's what you have to have when you have an awkward looking, weird position like I had. Resilience. Should have taken the rook there. Let's make life easy. GG. Yeah. Started to get low on time. And that was problematic. This is more to the theme compared to the last game where I was on the opposite side of an English. How you're supposed to be playing these positions. If your opponent is looking to wreck you by the b-pawn push, you have to be playing on the opposite wing. And I did evaluate it properly according to the engine, taking at the right moment, but it liked knight a7, which is interesting and I didn't consider it at all. Um, g4 is considered speculative and then... So I played relatively well up until around in here. Queen g5 is definitely not something I considered at all because it lines up the queen with discoveries, but apparently there are no good ones. Uh, knight e5. Rook f7. Okay. 
that's how you do everything. I was only seeing taken with a king in a lot of lines. Interesting. I'll go further with that line. Yeah, very King's Indian. I went knight e5 because I did not see where it was going. And I never really let the position get out of hand, apparently. This gave me play. And then I find the right continuation there. And then where did I miss the mate? Rook f4. Yeah, simple chess. But with only a few seconds left there, I was, uh, needless to say, just looking to collect, and then I completely shocked myself when I just like hung the pawn, and I'm like, did that just happen? But then he hangs the rook right back, and this was just pure time trouble. Could have taken there. I remember I had about seven seconds left, so it's like, yeah. And I saw that I could get a position where there were no more tricks. So... I gave up material in order to get to this, which is a clean win. Overall, not a bad game with the uh, more aggressive structure against the English.